let's now learn some important concept in organic chemistry. We know that in organic there are acids. Just like this one, you can see the formic acid that is H C O O H. We know that it's an acid, so definitely it is going to release H plus. But how to decide out of these two which H plus will release? So there is one simple thing students can do. Acids generally release that H plus so that the anion that is formed after the dissociation gets stabilized. So let us try these two and we will figure out which hydrogen is actually acidic. So let's take this H plus out. So remaining thing will be this. Carbon will be left with a minus charge. Definitely there's a lone pair. And the remaining structure is this. Double bond O, single bond O, and then you have H. Now you can clearly see this lone pair has no chance of getting delocalized. Like none of these two oxygen can help this carbon. So this is very, very unstable. So what does this mean? This means this H plus is not going to take away. That means this is not the acidic hydrogen present in the formic acid. So let us now try our hand on this. So what will happen is this, that hydrogen will survive. There is an oxygen double bond which is already there. And now you have O with a negative charge because H is gone. So it has lone pairs on it. Yes, it has three lone pairs on it. And this oxygen has two lone pairs. Now you can clearly see there is a lone pair, sigma bond, pi bond conjugation. So this thing can happen. This can drop down here and this can raise on the head of this carbon, this oxygen, sorry, to get this structure. H, C, O minus, and then double bond will come to this oxygen. So you can now verify that's actually this hydrogen, which is acidic and that hydrogen is not. So formic acid is a monoprotic acid and after the removal of H plus, the stability of the anion decides the acidity of the hydrogen. So that's amazing concept, basic of organic chemistry.